The difference between those who know God and those who don't know God lie within the invisible and the visible realm. It lies with uh, knowing the truths of God and then knowing the truths of the world. And so those who have human intellects trust in what is seen, while those with godly wisdom trust in what is unseen. And so humans, we tend to walk about this earth and we allow the physical realm to infiltrate how we feel, how we think, and so forth. But it's those who have the Spirit of God after they have professed Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and are repentant of their sins, those who have the Spirit of God trust that the Spirit of God will reveal to them the hidden things of the faith as well as give them the right words in any and all circumstances. And so though human intellect is simply looking at what can be seen and perceived by the senses, whereas the spiritual man and godly wisdom bubbles up from the fountain of the living water within, which is the Holy Spirit. And as believers, we need to continue to press in and understand more about who the Holy Spirit is, what exactly he was sent to do, and what he desires to do in and through us. And the more we seek this, the more we begin to not need to have physical evidence that God's hand is moving or that he's working on our behalf or seeing suffering or evil or affliction or going through trials and tribulation and saying, God, where are you? We will have this subtle peace and strong faith in God, knowing that just because we can't see something doesn't mean that God is not working, because God always is, and God always is speaking. It usually lies with us when we allow the human intellect and we allow that which is seen to distract us and to disturb our senses from being able to take a step back and in quiet meditation and fellowship grow closer to the Lord because we can't hear God if we're constantly listening to the world, the news, our headphones, television, and hanging around friends. And we can't trust fully in God unless we distance ourselves from trusting in man and in our re own resources and becoming dependable on the government and the like. Because God can do much more than we can even ask or think, and his ways are not our ways, his thoughts are not our thoughts. And the more we allow the Holy Spirit to bubble that brook of living water within us, we're going to receive more godly wisdom because our faith is strengthening and the Holy Spirit is giving us spiritual lenses into the spiritual realm of who God is and what God has declared, and we will know that he is for us and not against us. So may we not uh, be brought into this life and be led by human intellect. Uh, human intellect is good up to a certain point, but may we seek first and foremost godly wisdom. And James tells us, for anyone who lacks wisdom, ask God, and he is more than willing to give uh, without partiality. So may we be seekers of godly wisdom as we continue to progress down the road of becoming more Christ-like each and every day.